Hey guys, it's Liz, and I'm just here to share with you um, some latest projects for Sawcrafter Shop. And this time I decided to create a little box and a little tag. Um, throughout the year, people have sent me, you know, small gifts, little tokens of appreciation. And sometimes I haven't had a chance to send anything back. So right now during Christmas time, I'm, you know, making little gifts to send back, you know, to say thank you to some of the people who have sent me gifts throughout the year. And so what I decided to do is I decided to make a cute little trinket box and a little coordinating tag to go with it. And uh, let me show you the products that I use from Sawcrafter's shop. I guess what I'll do is I'll start off with the box and then I'll show you the products as we go. And I just love working with, you know, all of Saw's embellishments. I mean, she's got some awesome metal elements that you guys know how much I love working with metal. And, of course, all her chipboard pieces and wood pieces. Everything is just, you know, fabulous. I love working with her stuff. But this is just the, you know, the um, little trinket box. I'm just going to kind of show you the whole thing first, and then I'll go in detail into what I did. It's really cute. And the little box, just a little wooden box. These, I, I was lucky enough to find some at the Dollar Tree. So I picked up quite a few, and they're so cute. I really like these because they're small, and they just make such cute little gifts, you know. So what I decided to do, um, I wanted to go for a very vintage um, and sort of neutral color scheme. So I didn't want a whole lot of color. And so for the papers I decided to do is just use some music sheet. Um, I go to garage sales and I often find, you know, music books and I pick them up for like, you know, 25 cents, 50 cents. And, um, so this is what I did to, um, for the papers is just, you know, sheets of music and they're beautiful. They're lovely. And I think they're so vintage. Um, and for me, they scream Christmas time in winter. And then, of course, I created a beautiful little Christmas scene or winter scene on top. It's really cute. But anyways, guys, so what I did is I did paint, you know, um, all of the edges that I knew were going to show, uh, mostly on the inside. The outside is mostly covered with paper, as you can see. And I adhered the music sheet paper all over the box, the little trinket box, all over. And I wanted to go for like, um, you know what, on winter time when your windows kind of get that frosty look on the edges? I was going for that look. So hopefully you guys are able to see that. But what I did is I inked all of my edges first with Vintage Photo to give it that vintage worn look. And then I took some um, warm white acrylic paint and I dabbed it on the um, all the corners, you know, to kind of give it that look that I was going for, you know, with the frosted window. So I used um, the warm white acrylic paint first. And then I went and used some a little bit of Mod Podge on top of the paint once it dried. And then I used this beautiful sparkly glitter by Martha Stewart. And it's so pretty. It's, you know, nice and creamy, uh, that creamy color. And you can see a lot of the shimmer. It's really pretty. And it kind of just gives it the effect of, you know, frost on your window. And I really like that. And, of course, I kind of used some of that um, snow text on the hinges on the back to give them a more worn look as well. You can see all the glitter throughout the box. It's really, really pretty, you guys. I love the way it comes out because um, it's so super fine, you know, and very shimmery. And I did the same thing at the bottom. Okay. Now these are little. Um, these can be knobs or these can be feet. These little metal, I would call them, I guess, drawer pulls. And these are from Saw Saw Crafters Shop. And they are really beautiful, you guys. They've got some beautiful details, and they're nice and heavy. So it's not like it's a solid metal piece and all I did is I took some of that warm white acrylic paint I used my finger to just rub it on there to give it a more um, you know distressed look so it's really cool how the paint kind of gets in all the little ridges so these are very very cute of course I used all four of them so I can't show you the ones that I didn't use because I used them as little feet for my box and then of course this beautiful handle here look how gorgeous this is I just love all the details on it this is also from Sauce Shop, and let me show you what it looked like before. I do have an extra one. You get two in a pack when you order from Saw, and this is what it looked like. Look how beautiful that is, right? Such gorgeous detail, and to me, it just screams vintage. It's beautiful. And what I did is I adhered it on there with some E6000, and again, I used some warm white paint to just rub on top of the uh, metal pieces. So it gets in all the little grooves and little nooks and crannies, and it just creates a really warm um, vintage feel. So I love that, it's really pretty. For the top, I just, um, again, I adhered some of that music sheet, 
And what I did for the top, I, after I inked all of my edges with the vintage photo, I just basically gave it a nice coat of Mod Podge. And then I took, you know, that fake snow that they have at Michael's. It's really like little plastic uh, shavings, it seems like. And so I coated the whole thing with the uh, fake snow. And look how realistic that looks. It looks really, really cool, you guys. And it adds a little bit of shimmer, too, you know, from... Um, I guess when the plastic, uh, the light reflecting upon it, it just creates like a beautiful shimmer. It's really cute. And I didn't want anything, you know, too Christmassy. I wanted more of a winter type scene. And so that's really what I was going for. And um, once I adhered that on there, I let everything dry. And then I went ahead and used, you know, the other embellishments. This little house here is super cute, you guys. And it's actually a little ornament that I picked up at Michael's. It's very plain. It's a little ornament. It's already um, got, you know, glitter on it. Um, the glitter isn't as shimmery as I would like. So, and then I knew I was going to change it up anyway. And so what I did for the base of the little house, and I'm sure, you well, you might be able to see it, but I painted that a warm white, okay? And because it already has glitter on it, those little grains make it look like a little stucco. So it's like a little stucco house. It's really cute. I painted the entire thing in the warm white. Except for the um, the roof, I left that white. It was already white to begin with, but I did ink the edges, and hopefully you guys are able to see that with the vin. Um, sorry, the yeah, the vintage photo. And then I did the same thing here. I used a coat of Mod Podge, and I adhered some more of that fake snow on top to make it look like you know it had snowed, and there's snow all over the roof. It's really cute, really pretty. And see, here's the back of it. You can see how it looks like stucco. It's really pretty, very cute. And um, on top of the snow, the little flakes of the fake snow, um, once it dried, the Mod Podge dried, it's a little translucent. So all I did is I took some snow text and a little pouncer and I pounced on it. So in some areas you could see how some of the snow text just kind of stuck to um, the little fake snow and it just gives it a more realistic look, I think, you know, with um, different uh, shades of white and stuff. So it's really pretty. And so that's what I did to the little house. Now the little house is actually a little church. I wanted it to be a little house. So I added a little door. Look how cute that door is. And this is just a little itty bitty piece of chipboard. I cut it down to fit and I inked the edges with a vintage photo. Look how cute. And then I added that little itty bitty bead or um, it's like a little flat back pearl for the doorknob. And then on top of the door I added some snow tacks. You know, so it can look like um, snow had fallen on top of the door. And it's just really, really cute. And of course, I've got some beautiful bottle brush trees, which I love. They're so beautiful. And these I picked up at Michael's, you know, the little packs that they have. I think the brand is called Art Mine. And so I picked a larger one and then a, one a little bit smaller than that. Now, the trees already have like little touches of, you know, um, I guess fake snow. But I did use some uh, pa my pouncer tool and some gesso and I went all over the trees to add more snow. And then I also dabbed it a little bit with Mod Podge and then sprinkled some of that fake snow on top as well. I really wanted it to look, see you could see a lot of it right here. I really wanted it to look like, you know, snow had just fallen and of course it's all in the trees and everything. And I decorated the trees with just some uh, pearl beads and these I picked up at Hobby Lobby, you know, the little trim. They were on sale just last week. I think they were only a dollar. And these are bright gold, but I used the snow text on top of some of the little beads to tone down the color a bit. And hopefully you guys are able to see that. And you can see that I think right there. And I just wrapped the little beads all around both of the little trees. Really, really cute. It just adds another little touch. I didn't want them to be too plain. And then the other item that I used from Saw Shop are these cute little fences. Look how cute these are. They're so, so pretty. And these are actually from another, um, my last design team um, uh, stuff that she sent me, the, the package. And I just have the little fences and I thought they were so cute. This is all that I had left, unfortunately. I did want to go all around it, but, you know, I ran out of fence. But my husband said it doesn't look finished, but I was like, you know what, just use your imagination. This is the front of the house, right? There's a lot more going on over here. <laughs> so, I used a little fence, and these are all chipboard fences. They're super cute. And I left them pretty much natural. I did ink them up just a tiny bit with vintage photo, usually on the edges and just in the middle parts to give them that brown color. 
And as you can see, I broke some of it off. I just broke like a little piece off right here to attach it to the front. And I used E6000 to glue that on there real nice. I used some snow tucks all over the little pickets. I used some Mod Podge on top. Again, I sprinkled snow all over, you know, just so the snow can catch on the little um, pieces of fence. It's really cute. And then here's another piece over here. Again, the same thing, just some vintage photo on the little wood, um, the little chipboard piece, and some snow tucks and some little fake snow. And then the little fence goes all the way over here in the back. It's really cute. I think it's adorable. And like I said, Saw carries some awesome chipboard pieces, you guys. You can do so much with them because the chipboard is really nice and thick. It's a really, really good quality. I just love working with all her pieces. So that is the top of my box. And then, of course, I added a cute little deer. Look how tiny and cute he is. And uh, he's from Michael's, just in the little same section, little art mines, I believe that's what it's called. It comes with four little deer, and I just used one on here. So he's just kind of like a little curious deer that wandered into, um, you know, this little cottage. So I think it came out really cute, you guys. The inside is pretty simple. I kept it simple. As you can see, this is where I painted it a warm white color. And I added some more music sheet. Um, the edges, again, are um, inked with vintage photo. And then so is the edging on the um, the wood, the actual uh, box itself. So it just gives it like a really cool vintage look, I think. I think it came out really pretty. Really, oh, don't mind that snoring in the background. That's my puppy. <laughs> but he didn't want to leave the room while I made my video. But Okay, so that's my little box. I think it came out really cute, and I really hope the person that I'm going to send this to likes it. Um, I didn't know if they celebrate Christmas. I know some of you don't, so that's why I wanted to create like a winter scene rather than more Christmas theme. But I think it came out darling. It's really, really cute, and I just love the size of this box. And I also made a little tag to go with the little box, the little coordinating tag. Look how precious. Oh my gosh. I just love that little vintage image. It's so pretty. I love like vintage pictures like this. It's so cute. And the picture, you know, I just got it off my computer. I printed it onto some heavyweight cardstock. And um, she was the inspiration for, you know, the entire tag. I just wanted, like, a really winter feel. And um, the two products that I used on the tag, as you can see, is this beautiful flower. And let me show you what that flower looked like before. And like I said, I love, love Saw's metal pieces. They're just amazing. But look how beautiful this flower is. Look how gorgeous. This would focus. You guys could see it. Sorry about that. But it's really pretty. Look how pretty. And in the middle, you can actually put like little pearls. I've done liquid pearls on the inside, rhinestones, whatever you want. It's just really, really pretty. And that, the antique gold is just perfect. Absolutely perfect for vintage pro um, projects. In this case, all I did is I used some snow text, again, with my pouncer tool, and I just dabbed it all over the flower. Hopefully you guys are able to see some of that white on there. And then I added a cute little um, button. This is actually a little snowflake button. I cut off the shank and I put it right here in the middle. And I know I moved around quite a bit, but let me um, start off by telling you what I did with the tag. The tag itself, this part here, the base, is actually a piece of um, packaging from like a Tim Holtz thing. I often keep my packaging, you guys. I don't know if you guys do this, but I think it's a great, you know, little tip um, that I do. You know, when you get, like, you know, your flowers or Tim Holtz stuff, I sometimes, you know, just keep this. Sometimes it's got some great shape already. See? And it's sometimes, you know, it's pretty sturdy. Or you can, once you add paper to it, it becomes sturdier. And I think these are really great to use, you know, and it's a great way to recycle. And so, like, this is another one. This is actually the, similar to the one that I used for my tag. And all I did is I adhered the paper onto, um, you know, this package, it's the packaging itself, just using some Mod Podge. And again, in, in my case, I used um, Music Sheet, but you can use pattern paper, you can do whatever you want. And I think it's just a great way to keep, you know, to recycle. And like I said, some of these are really great shape already. Like the Graphic 45 ones already come with an eyelet. I think that's wonderful. So I often keep, you know, some of my packaging so I can make some tags. And I think it's a great way to use up our garbage. <laughs> But that's what I did, you guys. That's the base of it. And like I said, just adhered the uh, music sheet on there, inked the edges with vintage photo, and again, I went um, all along the edges with Mod Podge and added that really super fine glitter. Look how beautiful. And it's just all around the tag. Of course, a lot of it gets covered up. And some snow text right over the glitter. On the back, you're probably going to be able to see it better. 
For the back, I just kept it simple, added some beautiful glitter, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a piece of cardstock, I'm going to write my message, and then adhere it on here. So that way I don't flatten, you know, the stuff in front. So, really pretty. So anyways, let's move on to what I did here. I added the pretty doily for my stash just right here on the edge. Some of it, you know, comes out uh, from the side. And like I said, the image is from my computer. And all I did is I took snow text and I used my pouncer tool and dabbed it all along the edges to give it like, you know, that snowy look and it came out beautiful. And of course the black and white image itself is gorgeous. And then, um, down here, like I said, I added that flower from Sawcrafter Shop. I added the little white flower here for my stash. I've got a couple of little um, leaves here. And these are from Spellbinders, and I just used a scrap of patterned paper. And I tucked them back in the little cluster, kept it kind of simple. And over here, this beautiful, I guess, flourish is a die cut from an old collection that I had from Anna Griffin, I believe. And it's just really pretty. I wanted just, just a hint of color. So that red is perfect, and I adhered it to the back here before I attached my photo. And the photo is um, mounted on some foam tape to give it dimension, so I hope you guys are able to see that. The other piece that I used from Saw Shop is this really, really pretty lamp. Look how cute that is. And these are wood. They're so, so pretty, you guys. And you get three in a pack, and let me show you. But look how cool these are. I mean, look how thick this wood is, right? It's awesome. And I love the natural color of the wood, so a lot of times I don't change it. In this case, all I did was I inked it with Vintage Photo, and then I dabbed snow text on it to give it the look of, you know, the snow falling on, you know, the little light. And on the back of it, I know you're probably not going to be able to see, but the back of it, I just added a piece of vellum to the back to kind of give it that frosted look. It's really cute. Over here, all I did is I took some seam binding and I left it ivory color. I crinkled it up with some water and dried it with my heat tool and made a pretty little bow. And I added another one of those little buttons. I cut off the shank and added it to the center. Oh, sorry. <laughs> my dog's going crazy here. But that's it for my tag, you guys. Really, really pretty. Uh, give me one second. Sorry about that. Someone was at the door, so, you know, they get all excited. But anyways, guys, that is my tag, uh, my two projects for Sawcrafter Shop for the month of December. I've got a couple more to do, but, um, you know, these are just little gifts that I'm trying to make, like I said, for people who have been kind enough and sweet enough to send me, you know, um, little goodies throughout the year. I really appreciate it, and I know sometimes I don't send something right away, but believe me, I never forget your generosity. So hopefully the person who receives these will like them, and uh, I hope you guys like them too. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. And uh, don't forget to check out Saw Shop. She's got some awesome goodies right now, you guys, for Christmas. She's got those beautiful houses that you can, you know, decorate for Christmas, which I think are beautiful. I can't wait to get my hands on one of them. But um, she's got some amazing goodies, so definitely check it out. And thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving, and uh, I'll be back real soon to show you some more projects. So. In the meantime, guys, I hope everyone has a wonderful day, and I'll see you all real soon. Bye-bye.